हेलो एंड वेलकम टू योर साइंस ऑनलाइन क्लास वी वर डूइंग द चैप्टर फोर्स वर्क एंड एनर्जी एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फोर्स द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द फोर्स एंड वर्क टॉपिक थ्रू विच वी विल नो दैट हाउ फोर्स इज एप्लीकेबल और फोर्स कैन बी अप्लाइड इन केस ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्क or how we do work with the help of different types of force now as we know that uh, we are in a stay in our world of technology so everywhere whatever we are using we are doing by with the help of machine now uh, there are different types of machine today we are going to start about machine now see simple machine and complex machine so there are two different types of machines okay now we will learn what are they and what is the basic difference between this two see please go to page 81 a sewing machine and a washing machine are made of many parts they are thus called complex machine now complex means which is complicated now complicated means maybe there are different parts maybe there are different things we have what we have to understand so how big a machine is the more complex it is okay so when we are telling it is a complex one when we solve a problem suppose of uh, maths when it is a big one what do you think yes it is a little bit complex one that means what many different parts are there what you have to divide into different steps isn't it just like that when a machine is having many parts it is a complicated one and that's why it is called a complex machine scissor knives and tweezers are made of very few parts see scissor when you see what do you see there is a screw in between two parts which are using which we use to cut and there is a place where we have to put inside our finger isn't it so it's a very simple one what we can see through our eye they help us to do work scissor knife squeezer are made of very few parts they are called simple machine they help us to do work by using force more efficiently so when it is a easier one we can do it very easy when it's a difficult one we need to time to do it there are six basic simple machine the lever inclined plane wedge screw pulley and wheel and axle complex machine are made up of these six simple machine so now basic question can arise that what is the difference between simple machine and complex machine when you are going to get the uh, pdf of force work and energy you are going to see the um, you are going to see the uh, pdf uh, difference between simple machine and complex machine so if i ask you what you will say first the simple machine we need less part less different uh, small uh, very less amount of parts uh, in case of uh, simple machine but in case of complex machine there are different parts isn't it many different parts and simple machine is a simple one and a complex machine is a little bit complicated and what is the main difference between simple machine and complex machine with there are six different types of simple machine and with this simple machine we used to make the complex machine so this simple machine with simple parts are used to make complex machine so first as we have told that lever the lever is the first uh, lever is the first uh, type of simple machine suppose you are asked to move a heavy boulder you may find it very difficult to do so it's a heavy boulder big we see this type of boulders near sea beaches isn't it when we sit we used to sit on boulders when you we used to visit different sea shores we used to see big boulders and now if someone will tell that remove that boulder from one place to the other it is very difficult for us but if you are given a strong rod and a small stone you can move the boulder more easily by using the rod as shown see the picture over here it's a big boulder he is thinking how to do that and when he has got one rod and a small stone it is becoming easy because this is functioning as a 
fulcrum that we will read later on. Look at the illustration and note more for points. The boulder is load. See this one is load. That has to be moved. So that has to be moved. This one was single. When the boy was thinking that how to move the boulder. The boulder is load. So this is the load heavy amount. That has to be moved. One end of the rod is put under a boulder. See one end of the rod it is put under the boulder. The small stone supports the rod. Here the small stone and it is supporting the rod. The point at which the rod touches the stone is fixed and do not move. It is called fulcrum. So the place where the rod and the stone is meeting, that point is fixed and it is not moving. And that is called fulcrum. The rod is it is free to turn around the fulcrum. So the rod can move 360 degree depending on the fulcrum. You will push down at the end, other end of the rod to shift the boulder. This push or push force applied to move the board is called effort. Now I will explain you a little bit that will make you easy to understand. My God, please wait. Now see, this is a big boulder. The boy is thinking, putting his hand on head, that what to do and how to do. Now when we are using a big boulder, when we are, suppose this is the, according to the book, we have seen that this is the load which is to be removed, isn't it? Now, if you get one rod and a small stone, depending on which the rod can stand in a particular point and this end also is fixed. If you put force here, the, rod, the load can be easily moved from one place to the other. So this is load, this is fulcrum and finally this is the Effort, where the effort is being put by the person who is pushing the particular object or moving a particular object from one place to the other. So, I think up to this part, the liver, fulcrum and load you have understood. In the next video, once again I will repeat and then we will shift to the next part. It's a very difficult, a little bit difficult for you people. So, you must understand it. I will explain it again. And in live class also once again I will explain and then we will shift to the remaining part. Thank you.